Sacrifice is one of the mysteries for accessing the sworn blessing. There is something called the sworn blessing. Genesis 22, 15 to 18. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, By myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing, what is the, this thing? Thou hast not withheld. That is what you have done. You have been so lavish in bringing your future, bringing your all, your only son that you had to wait about 25 years to have him. Because thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, he says, this is what I have sw I've sworn to you, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. 18. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to believe that there is something called the sworn blessing. We also call it the commanded blessing. Numbers 23, 19 and 20. It's important that I teach this so that many people will understand that sacrifices are not just about dropping something that costs you. It is your understanding that gives value to what you are doing. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he not said and shall he not do it? Had he not spoken and shall he not make it good? The next verse please. Behold, I have received commandment to bless and he had blessed and I cannot reverse it. There are things that God brings upon the lives of people on account of their diligence, on account of their sacrifice. God will say things to them through men that sticks to their life forever. Hallelujah. I wish I had the liberty to share with you some testimonies. Honestly, this principle has worked wonders in my life. One time the Lord gave a, an instruction to sow a seed as a ministry. I remember after that time, God began to open phenomenal doors. Phenomenal doors. And then... God came to me one time and gave me an instruction to give a very huge sacrifice. And it was at that time, it was something that was really costly. Do you know, when I did that, there was a gift that God planted in my heart. That gift of joy, the peace of God, that nothing, that money. It's not always about money multiplying, no. There are some things money cannot buy. You've heard my story. That one time, many years ago, you know, um, I had one, I had an issue with, with, with the bank, you know, my account was hacked that time. And you know, the little I had then, everything, everything just went like that. Tried to put in my ATM, the thing did not work. And that was the end of it. I remember by the, the you know, the, the following Monday, went to the bank, ah, you know, the manager and the things, they were saying, ah, what is all this going on now? What is, you know, what is going on? And they now said, all the people who were staying with me will have to come and write reports and all, you know, those things. I said, no, 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 no. These people are innocent. They have no business with what has happened. They said, well, this is what we do. They have to call our office in Lagos. Cut this long story short. I was there having the meeting. God is my witness. And then the Lord spoke to me. True story. And he said, my son, what are you doing here? In my mind, I was saying, what am I doing here? My money just disappeared I'm, and I'm there finding what... True story. If I'm joking, I'll tell you I'm joking. I mean, I need to find out what is going on here. And then the Lord spoke to me. I remember that is this your money or is my money? And I said, Lord, you are the Lord of everything. And the Lord asked me to get up from that meeting and walk out and go away. And that was the end of it. I told them, you know what? This case is over now. Oh, no, 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 no. Our integrity. I said, that's not my business. I'm on my way out. The owner of my life and includes everything has demanded that I walk away case close. I mean it before the God of heaven. I walked out of that place. It was not a small money. Oh. And the peace that surpasses all understanding 
that was where I truly received the gift of peace there are some things that you can never have until the realm you get into the realm of sacrifice peace joy these are things a job cannot give these are things money cannot buy I remember walking and I was just singing to the Lord telling him how much I love him and I meant it from my heart I knew I was not lying because it had been tested it wasn't God that did that but just the fact that he could instruct me to get up and leave something and I, I did that was it hallelujah God began to multiply this ministry God began to show mercy and I will tell you one testimony for your hearing one day I was praying and the Lord spoke to me and said my son from today I will start raising men to bless you not bless the ministry I will start raising men to bless you I was praying I still remember just walking around praying in the spirit occasionally I would, I would check my phones and I remember that time an alert came I had never received you know a lump sum of that kind of money it just came to and I was saying what in the world is this I said let me let me calm down maybe it's a mistake somebody made before I touch something and later on they come to harass me and, and, and so on and so forth yes it was a real estate company I remember the name that sent it a real estate company three months later the same amount was sent again three months later the same amount was sent again and that was all for the next one year at least 50 of those kind of amounts just that very amount like that I said God what are you doing what is the name of this what is the meaning of this thing you are doing he that honors me I will honor you see that but he that despises me please listen I'm not telling you something somebody taught me this is my life God began to open doors for koinonia in a strange and miraculous way I mean people will call from all over the world literally and be patient for days we had to start reaching the bank to say listen you need to help us spread our platforms for giving because people want to give can you imagine someone will be disturbing you for over two weeks and say I've not given till now I've asked you people to do this I need to give my $500 my $1,000 I tried people even became victims of scammers but they were still patient how does someone keep begging you and saying he wants to give people started traveling I'm not exaggerating traveling from across the globe they will come inconvenience themselves land in Lagos take a flight come through Kaduna and come down to Zaria not for prayer they were instructed by God we came all the way from America from this place from England and God said we should come and do this others will come and give and say God said we should collect the ministry's account number let's verify so that when we go back let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me let your power power to prosper rest on me rest on me oh, oh, oh. was learning something about God I was seeing in my life the things that Ora Robert spoke about I was seeing in my life some of the things that God's general said so I can do ministry with integrity without manipulating people how will you call people to come and fund what you are doing without manipulating them you are not the only preacher on earth how will they suddenly turn their attention to you and bless you I had found my key gather my saints unto me that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice hallelujah the next time the Lord will come to me he gave me an instruction he said I'm going to be sending you to God's servant prepare this when I send I rejoice in my heart now I had seen it work I know that it works that morning I remember waking up 
and God just told me today is the day with joy I got everything got the next flight I was on my way to Lagos went to Canaan land went to do whatever I had to do when I finished by the grace of God with joy in my heart I knew that God is not a man those who don't know this are the ones talking against it when you have lived in the reality of these principles and you become a living proof if you are faking it and pretending it you will be lying till you become poor hallelujah are you learning now after I did I remember I was going to get into the car and the Lord asked me to he said come out place your hand on that ground I placed my hand on that ground and he said my son from today you have entered the overflow anointing the overflow anointing the overflow anointing I remember those days I wrote out if I recall the name of 10 mission agencies 10 mission agencies God gave me one of the instructions I'm sharing some of these things some of you are hearing it for the first time and God gave me heavy instructions I mean literally almost like everything to those mission agencies I did that with joy in my heart and I stepped into another level of the help of God and I said if this is how God works I conquer greed in my life no I will not withhold I know there is a difference between waste if you are doing this principally with money as your end you will be poor did you hear what I said let me tell you how it works God must be your focus not money now most people what they do is like a spiritual transactional bribe as they are holding 1,000 in their mind now they are thinking 10,000 who else do I bribe since I cannot go to someone to scam me let me come and drop it in an offering basket hoping that God will suddenly double it overnight God gives you money, but he gives you more than what money can buy. When your heart, let me tell you the missing ingredient. Many believers give, but their heart is on carnal returns. Not God. Not God. Not God. Not God. God has given me many very dangerous instructions. Financial instructions that I've done that sometimes I thank God I'm the only one that knows about it. Because I wonder who, who ever believed that I did such a thing. Let me tell you with all due respect. Most, anyway. God knows, oh. There are things you do, ba, that touches the heart of God. I made up my mind that I was going to prosper myself. And that I was going to raise a people who love God. But people who have conquered materialism. I hate carnality. Material is this obsession for money. But at the same time, I also hate poverty. That people should not just be economically ridiculed by life. There are many other aspects with productivity, creativity. I've taught you relationship, value. My goodness. But sacrifice is an irrefutable spiritual principle. When God comes to you, he comes to bless you. He really comes to bless you. I don't know how many episodes of those demands God has made from my life. There are some of them that have become covenant seasons. My birthdays, koinonia, you know, end of year, and all of this. Right now, as I'm standing now, he's told me my own. And I came here with joy because I know that my life is about to shift. God, there is nothing that God demands from you. Please hear me. I'm speaking to the global family. That is for his benefit. No. If God is looking for money, he will not talk to you. No. How much can you give him? You see that now? I need to teach you so that it's not just about dropping seeds. It's a wrong narrative and a wrong mentality. And sometimes I confess that we pastors, maybe it's because of the physical money. Everybody does not care. It doesn't matter whether people understand or not. Just bring it. You bring it without revelation. I assure you, it will not work. Truly, not many people will tell you this. You give just as a, as a bribe unto God. You will not get anything. Your attention must be on Jesus and the integrity of his word. And then allow him surprise you and do things for you that you cannot imagine sacrifice that's what brought some of us to this this level 
that God has helped us by grace and by the Spirit. Koinonia will never be doing the things that we are doing now by the privilege of God's grace. No. This one is beyond the realm of tithes and offering. There are things you do to touch the heart of God. All blessings come from God through men to men. But those men don't come on their own. There are mysteries that bring them to you. Jesus did not call the three wise men, the Magi, to come to him. He was a baby. But there was something that was done in the spirit on account of an instruction. And the Bible says the Magi rose holding gold, frankincense, and myrrh. As a baby, they did not consider that he was a baby. They worshipped him and they dropped those things. This thing does not happen because you are a man of God. It does not happen just because you are, you know, whatever it is. No. Hallelujah. There are sacrifices I've made for the next level of koinonia. There are sacrifices I've made for the next level of my life. This ministry you see, and with all due respect, without, without being, being, you know, mistaking me for pride, we stand today upon sacrifice. It is not what we do once and for all. It has become my lifestyle. Nobody lives what works. There is he that scattereth and yet increaseth. And I have seen all kinds of things that God has done. Sometimes it's not safe to share certain testimonies, you know, but just for you to know that this mysterious God, there is nothing in my life that will ever make me give up on the mystery of sacrifice. It has kept God's position intact in my heart by dethroning material things. You know, you get to a point where God begins to help you. And let me tell you the truth. The tendency for material things get into your heart. And then God demands that they go. And as soon as they leave, his position remains intact in your heart. There is nothing in my life today, and I stand, I'm speaking to the globe. In the name of Jesus, there is nothing in my life today as I stand before you that I cannot give God. Nothing. The Lord will come to me years ago and say, Son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. I'm not sure I understood what he was saying. Now I know I did not understand what he was saying. This is an opportunity for someone right now. The end of year sacrifice is not a ritual. By the grace of God, we have demonstrated a level of integrity that is, that is clear enough for you to know as individuals and as a ministry. You see that now. By the privilege of God's grace, we have raised sons and daughters in this ministry that have capacity financially. If we're in need of money, there are people we put together. We will not come and talk to a globe like this. This is an opportunity. This is no manipulation. God has been faithful to me as a person. God has been faithful. It is an insult, honestly, and a mockery to manipulate God's people for money. Not at this level. No. What you did not do before when you did not have, it's not today that God has shown mercy that you come to manipulate people. This is why I said, don't give yet. Allow me to teach you. I have seen what God has done in my life today. Hallelujah. I shared with you about a group of, you know, some real estate people who came and met me. They first came to bless me with a property and said, Apostle, we have a covenant with God that anywhere we build an estate on earth, we must keep a house for you there. How do you explain this? How many houses can I stay in in my lifetime? I've not even seen them. I don't even know where they are. Don't envy you and don't be angry. You. The secret is this thing I'm teaching you. Sacrifice. Sacrifice is not all about money. How about access to kings? How about access to nobles? You don't just rise like that. Today I've stood before kings. I've stood before presidents. I've stood before nobles. There are things that have happened in my life today. God has taken me light years ahead of my contemporaries. I am telling you one secret. It is sacrifice. There are things that you do in the realm of the spirit that speaks to your children and your children's children. Remember I told you the story of the women in Joss that I bought sugar cane for, I paid for sugar cane for. And I remember that mama, I still believe that they are not normal human beings. God just orchestrated a system to test me to see. Me too, I came to, I didn't have much, but I insisted 
and I remember them blessing me and that woman holding, having clothes that are not nothing no comeliness and she said my son forever walk upon gold walk upon gold walk upon gold we are able to do the things we do today because we have engaged these principles I don't want to tell you the bill and the budget for what was spent in the United Kingdom some of you will not even believe it you probably will not sleep this night if you hear it I tell you sincerely even if you are successful we're not teaching cunningly devised fables here it is true and then God says don't collect any offering no offering no giving nothing don't talk about money I want to rewrite something about the church that the church is not a weak and beggarly system waiting for the world no there is honor and dignity if we understand his ways if we understand his ways hallelujah the bills that it takes to run if koinonia was depending just on tithes and offering and all of that it would be a risk to close this meeting now for one month <laughs> May my God change your life from this night. May my God change your life from this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you for listening to the sermon. If you're here to give your life to Christ, say this prayer. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins and surrender my life. Wash me clean. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, that He died on the cross for my sins and rose on the third day for my victory. I believe that in my heart and make confession with my mouth that Jesus is my Savior and Lord. God bless you. Congratulations. You are now free.